Right, welcome. This is going to be a full tutorial on how to automate your WordPress blog. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take AI connected to your WordPress blog. Let's say this is your WordPress blog and have it not only generate, but publish high, uh, high quality articles, sorry, to your blog on autopilot, right? You have to click one button one time. And again, the AI will automatically generate and post high quality blog articles to your WordPress site, right? Now, the nuance here is that, and it's a good nuance, of course, all the blog posts generated will be interlinked between each other in a way that makes sense. If we can expand here on our blog posts, which I'll just show you in a sec second, sorry, how they look like, all of them are gonna have featured images, a table of content, in-article videos, in-article images, internal links to all the articles you've written in the past, uh, calls to action to your offers, your services, your products, external links linking out to authoritative sources in your niche. So for example, if this article is about finance, we're gonna outbound link or external link to uh, Forbes, uh, Investopedia, right? TechCrunch, all these authoritative, authoritative sources, sorry, in the tech niche. So. This is exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do, right? Now, before I go over a step-by-step, step, I'm of course going to show you how the articles are gonna look like, right? So if we go here to my history, and I'll go over this tool in just a second here, these are the type of articles that we're gonna be automatically generating and posting to your WordPress blog. Again, featured images, a table of contents, right? We can click here and go to the certain section, properly structured with internal links, bullet out words, um, in article tables when they make sense, in article, article images, relevant in article images, of course, um, bullets if they make sense, of course, external links, more internal links, in article images, in article videos in a way that makes sense, right? These videos are relevant, just like the images, all these videos and links and all this is relevant to the article in question. And of course, a call to action to your product services. So these are the articles we're gonna be automatically generating and posting to your blog, right? You can do this manually, you can just generate articles and click here, post integration, post your WordPress blog, or you can go here and publish all, publish five out of five. But I'm gonna show you exactly how to do all of this automatically, right? So let's get started. First things first is you go to tryjournalist.com, right? That's the very first step. I'll leave a link for this in the description as well as in the pinned comment below. And log in, go to your dashboard, and we're gonna to go to integrations down here, right? Integrations, that's the first step. Right, now this is where you can connect the AI with your WordPress blog. So to do so, you click on new integration and then just choose WordPress. You have access to all these ones, but right now we're just gonna focus on your WordPress integration, right? So first things first is you name your integration. Let's call this my WordPress site, right? And here you're gonna add your WordPress URL, right? After that, you're gonna add your username and application password. Now, this is super easy to do, right? There's a tutorial here on how to do it. You just click on watch tutorial and uh, that's done, right? It's pretty straightforward. And click create. Now, the reason why I'm not doing this is because I already have an integration created. So if I go to integrations right here, you can see that this is my WordPress integration. I can click on manage. So again, when you go to your integrations and you set it up, right, with your application password and your username, which I have, I'll have to blur right here, uh, which is pretty straightforward. We're going to take you around 30 seconds. If we scroll down here, you can have access to all these different options. Now, author, these are the authors that you have set up on your inside your WordPress admin dashboard, right? And of course, if we're publishing blog posts, you want them to, have, to be associated with a certain author. Again, these are all pulled in from your WordPress blog, so you can choose whichever you want, right? Pretty straightforward. Status you can leave it to published right at the moment, right? Now, now the time gap between each post, this is essentially once you set up your automatic blog, right? Once you have journalists generating and publishing articles to your blog, you might want to have a gap between when the posts are published. At the moment, I'm gonna leave it as a 15 minute gap, right? This will of course depend on the frequency you want your automatic blog to generate and post content on, again, once you do this for yourself, you're gonna figure out and you're gonna tweak all these different things, right? Then categories, of course, your blog should have different categories depending on how big it is, depending on, on however many different topics you speak about or you talk about. On your integration, you wanna make sure you select the categories to which you wanna be publishing articles to, right? You can do all of them or just do a couple of ones, right? I'm gonna do all 
just because, right? You can also set up tags if you have tags in your WordPress blog, they're gonna show up here, right? Then hit save and your integration has been saved. Now, right now, Journalist AI is connected to your WordPress blog and you are a step closer to being able to generate articles uh, like the ones that I just showed you before, like these ones, and publishing them to your WordPress blog, right? At the moment, we can do this. I'm gonna show you right now how it works before I show you how the auto blog works. So if I go here to these ones that I just generated, and I'll show you in a second here how you can actually generate these types of contents, it's with the generate articles button right here. I won't go over this right now. I'll go over this in just a second now. Again, if we go here, because our integration is currently set up, I named it connect because that's the name of my website right here, my test website, right? If I click post to integration, and I'm gonna log in here on the back end to show you that this article is in fact not posted. So I'm just gonna log in here real quick, remind me later. And I'm gonna go here to the blog post section because again, all these articles that you click here, post integration. And the reason why this is called post integration is of course, because your integration could be your WordPress blog, Shopify, Webflow, uh, Wix, Blogger, all those ones that I just showed you before, right? So again, going here to the post section right here, we can see that uh, there are the latest one, so the most recent one, right? I'm gonna go here and sort by most recent was, sorry about that, was on the um, 30th of August, right? And that's this one right here. Now, let's go here and let's just post, for example, let's post this one to integration, right? And again, we're doing this manually. I'll show you exactly how to do this automatically, fully automatically with just one single click, right? Article successfully posted to your integration. Now, if I go here and hit refresh, our new article is right here, right? And it's set to published because on the integration, we set it to published, right? Again, we can go here to integrations again. And if we manage our integration, we can, if you scroll down here, like so, change this to schedule, draft, pending, private, in case you want to um, manually add them for yourself, right? Now, again, the post is here. We can edit it, we can view it, we can do anything we want. Again, the post that I just saw right here in your history that I just showed you, like so, is again posted here and should load with the featured image right there, proper title, proper internal links, external links, bold out words, the videos, the tables, all, all, the, all the things that I just showed you are essentially, are essentially mirrored from here to your WordPress blog. Now, if I wanted to publish all these at once, right, all these articles, I'll just click here, publish all to integration, and we'd be publishing all five, right? Pretty straightforward. Now, how do we actually automate the process? How do we have journalists automatically generate and post uh, content every single day, week, hour? It's through the auto blog feature right here, right? And it's quite simple. Click on auto blogs, click new auto blog and name it however you want to name it. I'm just going to call it a test for this video's purpose. And before I show you what presets are, here is where you can set your frequency. How many blog posts do you want to post to your WordPress site per day, per week, per month, every 12 hours, every six hours? You can set the frequency here, right? Maybe you want to post, I don't know, you want to be conservative, five posts every single week. So that's one. Uh, each of the each day of the other week, right? Or maybe you want to post a every single month, or you can even do every twelve hours, right? You can set this up however you'd like, right? And of course, select your integration. In this case, I'm going to select my WordPress integration, which I called Connect, and then just create new auto blog. Now, I won't do this because I already have one created, so I will go here back to auto blogs and click here. This is my WordPress integration. If I click Edit, I can edit all this stuff that I just showed you before, right? You can have it set to live, save, and if I hit save, because it's set to active, the auto blog or journalist, sorry, is gonna start automatically publishing or generating content and publishing content to your blog. In this case, one every single day. Now, you might be asking what type of content? And this has to do with the preset, right? You can choose all these presets right here and you can create one preset. Now, what are presets? Before I show you what they are, I'm gonna show you what this generate articles button does right here because we will be talking about the presets in the advanced mode. So this is quite straightforward, the simple mode. And this is where, of course, you generate the articles. You have three main modes, the simple one, which you give it a business URL, description, select however many articles you wanna generate and select languages and click generate, right? 
And again, the content will be generated based on your business URL and the description. And again, you can generate in over 150 different languages, right? So if you're targeting international markets like the Spanish market, Portuguese, Greek, Turkish, um, you can have content be generated in all these languages. Titles mode is where you give it titles and it generates the content based on titles. Keywords mode is you give it keywords and the content, of course, is generated based on those keywords. And now the advanced mode, which is tied in with the presets, is what I want to talk about because, again, to set up an auto blog and to know what the content that journalists AI is going to generate and publish to your WordPress blog, it is always based on the preset. So you can create a new preset, right? Which is, again, if you go to auto blogs, if you edit the auto blog you just created, this one is not live yet, but once I want to put it live, I do have to select a preset. So, again, if you go to generate articles, advanced mode, create preset, again, the content generated by journalists and published to my WordPress blog is going to be based on this preset. And this preset has a lot of different unique features here, right? So let's go over them one by one. So you can select the generation mode. Again, you can do business description, specific titles, or specific keywords, right? To have journalists generate the content based on something, right? You always have to give it something, right? So let's just do description, right? Now, I won't go over the brand right here. This is an advanced feature, but essentially what it does is if you click here on brands, you're able to connect your brand and sync your brand brain, your brand's brain with journalists. But this is an advanced one. I won't go over this one right now. Now, content, you can select the language, right? Whichever one you want. The creativity levels, if you want the content to be more correct or factual or more original or creative, that will depend on your brand's perceived or how people perceive your brand. You can choose the tone of voice, funny, informal, academic, uh, the point of view, first person plural, singular, second person, or third person, right? You can have custom instructions here if you like. Then you can set up a call to action, right? And in the articles that I show you, they all had images, they all had links. Some of them had calls to action to your products or services at the end. This is where you do it. You can set up custom headings or just leave, leave them automatically. You can set up the internal links. You can set up the external links. Images from AI images to Google license free photos, custom images or stock photos, uh, in article images, featured images, or automatic YouTube videos. So this is a quick overview on how presets work. But again, this will depend on what you're doing, right? And once you have your preset created, based on all these steps, once you go to your auto blogs right here and click edit, you will select your preset right here. And again, the content in this case, one article per day that's going to be posted to my WordPress integration, it's going to be based on this preset right here. So that's why you need a preset. Again, you click active, click save, and starting immediately, every single day, every 24 hours, one article is going to be published to this WordPress site based on this preset that I called with the video, right? And again, if I go here to my presets, I can just browse how they look, or I can just create a new preset like I just showed you before and edit how this looks, right? Pretty straightforward. And this is essentially how you can automate your WordPress blog. Again, set the preset, make sure you choose each one of these ones, each one of these modes, you can choose whichever one you want. Select the language, select all this, create your proper preset based on your brand, and then set it up inside the auto blog. Now, speaking of brands, again, this is an advanced feature, but you might want to try it out. What this is, I won't go dive too deep into technicality, but in essence, what this does is you are connecting your brand, let's name this your brand, you're connecting it to journalists AI, right? And what I mean by connecting it is you're giving access to journalists to all your public and private, if you like, assets. So your YouTube, not, not the accounts, of course, we won't be logging in into any accounts, um, but we're going to be browsing your YouTube channel, we're going to be browsing your Twitter, we're going to be browsing your Facebook, uh, you're going to be brow we are going to be browsing your website, right? We're going to be browsing every single asset that's related with your brand, right? And learn about it, right? Our AI is going to learn about the, your brand as much as it can, right? So essentially, our AI is going to know as much about your brand as you do. And so because of that, you can produce brand-tailored content. So the content that I just showed you before, right, in the history tab right here, all this content... This is not by any means uh, generic content, right? This is content based on presets and of course on, sorry, not this one, this, all these ones, of course, these are just test ones. These come from presets, presets where I gave it a description, or in this case, I gave it titles, right? 
these are based on, 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 on presets that I just gave titles to, and all the images, all the videos, all these are based on uh, the business website as well, right? And all this info. Now, if you want to go an extra step further and make these even more tailored to your brand and you have, uh, have a bit more control over the output, you can just connect your brand here. And again, by connecting your brand, journalists will learn so much and learn essentially everything about your brand, thus producing even higher quality content, right? So when you go to your auto blog, and again, click edit to choose your preset, you might want to create a preset or have a preset that has a brand associated with it. So in the uh, first step right here, these ones you choose, right? The brand, you might want to select a brand because by sele selecting a brand, which again, I won't go over how to create one, the content that's going to be generated based on this preset is going to be 10 times better than if you did not choose a brand because this is going to be brand tailored content. It's going to use your voice's brand, your brand's voice, sorry, your vo uh, your brand's images, your brand's tone of voice. It's going to learn how your brand uh, works and produce content based around that, right? It's pretty cool, pretty straightforward. Again, this is exactly how you automate it. Recapping, go to tryjournalist.com. I'll leave a link for this in the description and also in the pinned comment. Uh, first step is go to integrations, click new integration, select WordPress, do all this. It's pretty straightforward. If you don't understand how to do it, just click on watch tutorial. This is going to link you to another video of me speaking, actually. I think it's me, of like one minute to two minutes uh, detailing it out how you can do this. Pretty straightforward. Once that's done, go to Autoblog, right? Click new Autoblog, set all this up. Pretty straightforward. Just select your integration right here, the one just, you just created. Uh, select the frequency, select however many Again, again, the frequency, and then select a preset if you have one. If you don't have one, just click on create new preset, right? Fill all this in, and ideally, you're going to have to choose a brand. If you don't have a brand, just click on create new brand and get it done, right? Pretty straightforward. This is how you do it. This is how you can automate your blogging efforts on WordPress so you can focus on other stuff, right? Pretty cool. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.